Good day and welcome to our class for today. Today we are going to be looking at um, numerical number four on auto circle. Now the question is as follows. In a constant volume auto circle, the pressure at the end of compression is 15 times that at the start of compression. The pressure at the end of compression is P2. The pressure at the start of compression is P1. So we are, they are, what they are telling us here is that P2 is equal to what? 15 times P1. So now, secondly, we are told that the temperature of air at the beginning of compression is 38 degrees Celsius. This implies that what? T1 is equal to 38 degrees Celsius. And the maximum temperature attained in the circle, of course, we know that for an auto circle, the maximum temperature is nothing but T3. So T3 is 19950 degrees Celsius. So we are asked to determine three things. The first is the compression ratio. The second is the thermal efficiency of the circle. And the third is the work done. Now we're giving gamma to be of A to be equals to what 1.4. So of course, from what I just read, you will know that the gas we are considering is nothing but what but A. So let's proceed to solve this question. So first thing first, I'm going to be bringing out the data given from this question. So the first thing I'm told that the pressure at the end of compression, which is P2, is 15 times that at the start. So P1, P2 rather, is equals to what? 15 times what? P1. So this is what we have. So from here, we can further rewrite this to say that P2 all over what? All over P1 is equals to what? Is equals to 15. So by making what? 15 the subject. So next, what do I have? I have my temperature of air at the beginning of compression to be 38 degree Celsius. So T1 will be equal to what? 38 degree Celsius. Of course, you know that we are working with what? Kelvin. So 38 point plus 273, this will be equal to what? 311 Kelvin. So that's what I have. Secondly, I was given a temperature of 1950 as 1950 degrees Celsius as the maximum temperature. So my T3 will be equal to what 1950 degrees Celsius plus 273. Of course, we know that T3 here yeah, will be equal to what it will be equal to 2223 Kelvin. So we have 223 two, two, Kelvin. So this is what we have for my T3. I hope you are following. So lastly, we were told that what? Gamma is equal to 1.4 and that's all for our um, parameters. So now let's proceed to find the compression ratio. So next, we are going to be looking for what? We are going to be looking for the compression ratio. But if I do that, let me just give us a sketch of the PV diagram. So here is a sketch of the PV diagram. So of course, from here, you can see that we have four processes just as usual. Process one to two being the isentropic compression, two to three being the heat addition at constant volume, three to four being the what? The isentropic expansion process. And um, lastly, four to one is the constant um, volume heat rejection process. So now let's proceed to solve this question. So the first thing we are going to be looking for is the compression ratio. So we're giving P2 all over P1 to be equals to 15. And we know that for an isentropic um, compression process, we know that for an isentropic compression process, in this case, it is what? P1 to 2. So for process 1 to 2, we know that what? We know that P1, V1, gamma is equal to what p2 v2 gamma this is what we have so from this point we can make what p2 all over p1 the subject of this relation so let's do that so we have p2 here we have p1 here so we are going to be dividing both sides by v2 gamma and um, p1 so we have v2 gamma p1 all over v2 um, V1, this is going to be V2 gamma all over P1. Here we are going to have in V2 gamma 2 all over what? 
P1. So from this point, of course, you know that P2 gamma will go with V2 gamma, and then P1 will go with P1. So we'll be left with V1. We'll be left with V1. V1 all over V2 all to the power of what? Of gamma to be equal to what? To be equal to P2 all over what? All over P1. And we know that P2 all over P1 is nothing but what? 15. So our V1 all over what? All over V2 all to the power of what? Of 1.4. Of course, our gamma is 1.4. This will be equal to what? 15. So in order to get our compression ratio, which is V1 all over V2, we are just going to multiply the powers of both sides by 1 all over 1.4. So let's do that. So it implies that V1 all over V2 will be equal to what? 15 to the power of what? Of 1 all over 1.4. This will be equal to nothing but what? 6.4. This will be 6.9. Now, don't forget that I've mentioned in our previous video that compression ratio V1 all over V2 is equal to what? R subscript C. So this, of course, is equal to our compression ratio. So take note of that. So, of course, our compression ratio, as you can see on the board, is nothing but 6.9. So the second question says we should find the thermal efficiency of the circle. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, of course, we know that efficiency, from our previous video, we have proven the formula for efficiency. It is nothing but 1 minus 1, all of our compression ratio to the power of what? Of gamma minus 1. So my efficiency, gamma efficiency, is equal to 1 minus 1, all of our what? All of our compression ratio to the power of gamma minus 1. Of course, we know the value of compression ratio to be what? 6.9 and gamma to be 1.4. So this will be equal to what? 1. Compression ratio will be equal to 1 minus 1 all over what? All over 6.9 all to the power of 1.4 minus 1. So just do the little arithmetic here by um, minusing 1 from 1.4, this will give us 0 0.4. So when you, want, when you do 1 minus 1 all over 6.9 to the power of 0 0.4, you're going to have in a value of what? Of 0 0.538, 0 0.538 as our efficiency. But of course, you know we are going to be multiplying by 100. So that our answer will be in what? In percentage. So our thermal efficiency is equal to what? 0 point what? 0 0.538. So this is 0 0.538 multiplied by 100. It implies that our efficiency will be what? 53.8%. So this is what we have as the thermal efficiency. So next, we are going to be looking for what? Our work done. How do we get our work done? Of course, we know that work done is nothing but what? Heat supplied minus heat rejected. So let's do that. Let's proceed. Now we are asked to find the work done. And we know that work done is equal to what? Is equal to heat supplied minus heat rejected. So this is what we have. So and um, heat supplied is nothing but what? Cv into what? T3 minus T2. And uh, heat rejected is nothing but what? Cv into what? T4 minus T1. So our W denoting work is equal to Cv into what? T3 minus T2 minus CV into what? T4 minus T1. So this is what we have. Now, from our question, we have the value of T1 and we also have the value of T3. But we don't have the value for T4 and we don't have the value for T2. So let's calculate that before we solve. So now, we know that for a, um, an isentropic compression process, in this case, we are dealing with what, with what? Process 1 to 2. So if I say for process 1 to 2, you know that what? We know that T2 all over T1 is equal to V1 all over V2, all to the power of gamma minus 1. Now, of course, V1 all over V2 is nothing but what our compression ratio. We have calculated that to be 6.9. Also, our T1 is nothing but what? Is nothing but 311 Kelvin. So this implies that T2 
will be equal to what? Will be equal to 311 in Kelvin into what? 6.9, all what? All to the power of 1.4 minus 1. So this is what our T2 is. So just punch this in your calculator and you realize that the value of T2 is nothing but what? 671.1 Kelvin. So we have T2 to be equal to 671 Kelvin. So this is what we have as our value for T2. Now we need to calculate the value for T4. Now to calculate the value for T4, this is point T4. Now between 4.4, we'll be dealing with what? State 2, state 3 to 4. And um, 3 to 4 is nothing but what? Isentropic expansion process. Now for an isentropic expansion process, we know that what? T4 all over T3 will be equal to what? V3 all over V4. Or T3 all over T4 will be equal to what? V4 all over V3. So we say 4 process. For process what? For process 3 to 4, we have for process 3 to 4. What do we have from process 3 to 4? We have T3 all over what? All over T4 to be equals to what? V4 all over what? V3. So this is what we have all to the power of gamma minus 1. So similarly with just what we did from here, we are going to be looking for what? For we have T4. So let's make T for the subject. So from here, this implies that what? This implies that if we cross multiply from here, having known that what? V4 all over V3 is the same thing as V1 all over V2, which is the same thing as 6.9, we can say that what? T3 is equal to what? T4 multiplied by what? 6.9 all to the power of 1.4 minus 1. I hope you get what I just did there. So next, what will I do? Of course, my target is what? T4. So I can make T4 the subject. So if I make T4 the subject by cross multiplying, my T4 will definitely be what? T3 all over what? All over 6.9 all to the power of 0 0.4. Let's just put 0 0.4 because 1.4 minus 1 is 0 0.4. So my value for T3 now is um, nothing but... My value for 3t is nothing but 2, 2, 2, 3. Don't forget, it was given to us from the question. So this implies that this will be equal to what? 2, 2, 2, 3. All over what? All over 6.9, all to the power of 0 0.4. If you press this correctly, your value for t4 will be nothing but 1029 Kelvin. So we have 1029 Kelvin. So this is our value for t so having known all these parameters, we can now proceed to solve our, to find our work done, having known all these parameters. So I'm going to be what? Cleaning just this part, even as we solve for work done. Um, let's proceed to find our work done. So our work done, I'm just going to be substituting, no need to write again. It will be equals to what? Before I do that, I'm going to be factoring as CV, so I will just have one CV into a bracket that multiplies everything. So my CV, now we are not giving CV from the equation, but we are dealing with what? With A as the gas here. And we know that when we are dealing with A, our CV is nothing but 0 0.706 or 0 0.716. So W, we, our work done will be equal to 0 0.716 into the bracket of what? Of T3. Now our T3 is nothing but 2223 Kelvin. So we have two, two, three, two, three Kelvin minus, what do we have next? We have T2, which is nothing but what? Six, seven, one. So this is six, seven, one. This is minus in the bracket of what? Of T4, which is nothing but one, zero, two, nine, one, zero, two, nine, minus what? T1, which is nothing but three, one, one. So, of course, you can see everything is well arranged. So, all you just need to do is to multiply and what is to minus and multiply. So, if you do that, you are going to realize that your work done will be nothing but what? 597.5 kilojoules. So, W will be equal to 597.5 
किलो जूल सो दिस इज आवर वैल्यू फॉर वॉट फॉर वर्क डॉन सो आई होप यू understand all this type of file if you don't you can go over the video again and um, see if you can be clarified if you still don't you can leave a comment for us even at the comment section but we are happy to help with your questions so don't forget to like um, comment share and even subscribe to our channel to get more more and more content even on engineering and what and science related subject so stay tuned for the next america on auto second thanks